Hey, what's up guys? Now this is the first time I've done this in a pretty good while. I'm gonna read some of the comments I get on my channel and try to ask them. Now most of them have a little bit of sense. Some of them are crazy as hell. I'll kind of mix this shit up and the ones that don't make good sense, well, you get what you get when I get the answers. Now, let me say up front, I'm not a scope expert, but I do a shitload of scope reviews. So I've looked through and handled just a ton of those things. And because of it, a lot of these have to do with optics. Some of them with rimfire, some of them hunting, and some just about my channel. But I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, leave a comment below. All right, now Wet Water asked me to compare the Arkin EP5 to the SWFA Ultralight. He asked me which would be better for a lightweight 308. The Arkin is like 38 ounces. The SWFA is like 10 ounces. So it's a quarter of the weight. You're trying to build a lightweight rifle. Wet Water, I'm gonna let you crunch those numbers and let you figure it out. Honestly, the SWFA Ultralight is an incredible scope. It gets a lot of bad press from some of these sites that say it has a tight eye box. That was bullshit. Trust me when I say it's a great scope. Now, Phoenix3 asked me, am I on Rumble? I'm not. A lot of the shooting channels are posting their content on Rumble. I post my stuff here on YouTube. This is a hell of a lot of fun to me. And if I have to post this stuff on multiple platforms, it's gonna become a job. I'm not gonna do that shit. All right, now Jason asked me, the Bushnell Match Pro or the Zero Tech? For me personally, I'd pick the Zero Tech. I've had great luck with these guys. I had one that there was a problem with. They made it right just like that. And unfortunately, over the last couple of years, I've had a lot of guys comment. I can't say for myself, but I've heard a lot of guys comment that dealing with Bushnell is getting harder and harder dealing with their customer service. If you hear it once, that's nah, a rumor. If you hear it 30 times, you start taking a little heed to it. So right now, I'm not saying stay away from Bushnell, but Zero Tech, they're really, really serious about customer service. I think I would go that direction. Now, Ricky asks, would I recommend the Maven 5 to 30 by 50 or the GPO 2.5 to 20? Honestly, these are very, very similar scope lines and they both are very, very high quality. If I didn't need the extra magnification, I wouldn't get it. Now, if you need that extra reach, that extra magnification, then go with the Maven. If you don't, get the GPO. It's just that simple. They're so close together in quality and what you get for what you actually spend. I don't think there's a wrong answer if you're using either one of these companies. Now, William said, I've got the most entertaining gun channel on YouTube. William, seriously, you, you gotta learn how to search for these other channels. Believe me, some of these other guys are way better than my channel. I'm surprised every day I get up and people are still subscribing to this shit. Honestly, it makes me question you. Yeah, you that's watching. Now, Sam is commenting on the same video with me and Josh. He's talking about we're tickled to death with groups at 50 yards that are in the 0.5 and 0.6 range. We need to holler back at him when we learn how to shoot and learn how to turn the rifle. Sam, all I can tell you is you need to get your own damn camera, get your own damn YouTube channel, and show everybody up. It's obvious from your comment that you're some kind of world class shooter and honestly I'm a little intimidated even to address you right now but there's a shitload of guys on the keyboards they're experts in real life maybe not so much now I didn't call you a pussy but I'm also not going to stop any rumors now Eric's asking me about a Vortex Viper PST for a 308 honestly Eric I wouldn't recommend that scope to anybody I've had a couple of them my buddy Mike's had a couple of them they always end up having to go back. There's quality issues with them like crazy. Now, I know guys are gonna leave in the comments you're being a Vortex hater. That's not true. I think some of their budget stuff is absolutely awesome. Their top of the line razor shit, everyone I've looked at's been a badass, but it's their mid range stuff, especially anything that's got the word Eagle in it. I damn sure wouldn't buy anything from Vortex that's got the word Eagle in it. In Vortex language, I think that means dry right up the butthole. I'm just letting you know that's not where I would spend my money. Now, Paul said, here's a suggestion. Why do you run off with the foul mouth? Paul, this is just the way I talk, man. I don't have a YouTube character that I play. This is just me. I'm trying to be genuine. I'm me 24 seven, so I'm just gonna keep it like I got it. Now, Kevin says, how is a one-eye guy gonna talk about optics? 
I'm talking about rifle scopes, you dumb son of a bitch. Dumb son of a bitch? I'm not talking about binoculars. I'm talking about rifle scopes. You only need one good eye to do this shit. Kevin, you got to know this, man. Do better than that. Do better, Kevin. Dumb son of Your a bitch. Your wife needs you to do better in bed. Your kids need you to be a better dad. Do better. Quit fucking around and do better. Okay, now Jacob says, I need to quit bullshitting around it. Not everything is a joke. You need to take life a lot more serious. Jacob, I do take life serious. I don't take this shit serious. I really don't. I love making the YouTube videos. They're a blast. I like doing these comment videos, replying to retards like you. Oh no, he didn't. Now Keith told me, how am I gonna start making videos about guns? I'm supposed to be a scope channel. That's all I signed on for was scopes. Everything else is bullshit. Damn, Keith. I kind of thought the guns went with the scopes. And Keith, I don't work for you. And if I do work for you and I've forgotten, fuck you, I quit. Espresso Man told me, let me know when you want a real shooting lesson. Your technique sucks. Espresso Man, lighten up, man. Lighten up. I've never said I was a competitive shooter. I never said my technique was flawless. I'm just out there shooting the damn guns, having fun with them, and hoping the guys watching the videos have fun with it too. Now, Sabrina says, me and Josh and Chris and Elijah and all these other Rimfire guys need to get together and shoot in one place. Now, Sabrina, this is going to fuck with your blonde-headed ass. Just an educated guess about the blonde thing. We don't live in the same town. We don't live in the same part of the country. Of all of those guys, the closest one lives about 10 hours from me. We're strung out all over the country and all over Canada. We can't all get together and shoot. You blonde-headed dumbass. Okay, now I'm going to leave you with this one. Reggie Sparks says, I've seen you mocking Caitlyn Jenner in several of your videos. Do you just not have it in you to admit that she's an American hero? <laughs> oh, no, I don't. You have your dick cut off, there's something wrong with you. I mean, seriously. Every guy from the time they realize they can grab their dick and play with it and the fun that you get out of it, not going to have the dick cut off. It's the greatest gift God ever gave a man. He's not going to throw it away unless something's wrong with your mud duck ass. See you guys, and thanks for watching.